Hi everyone, this is Carol Hill. This is a short video about how to add your living and deceased ancestors to your family search tree app. And I just want to first talk a little bit about your living ancestors. So say you're a, church, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and this is your first time coming in to um, add information to your family tree app. And you're like, well, how come my parents aren't on here? They're also members of the church. How come they're not on here already? And the reason why is if, if they are living, they're not going to be on there because of uh, privacy, privacy laws. And so what you're going to have to do is go ahead and add all of your living ancestors. And then once you get back to a deceased ancestor and their, you know, ancestors are in family search, then it'll start populating back as far as family search has it. So, but you will need to add all of your living ancestors. That could be your parents, grandparents, maybe you even have a great grandparent still alive. And then what happens is when they die, then say they have 25 grandchildren, they've all added them to the family search tree, then all of those will be combined at some point. So, so it'll be okay in the end. So just know that you have to add all your living ancestors. And I want to show you one thing. So I'm going to click on myself since I am living and show you. So this shows that I'm a private person. And then this little ID number here, Family Search creates these ID numbers. And and I've had people too ask me, well, I've put in my, you know, mom's ID number and it, nothing happens. And that's because if they are living in private, then you can't use that number. Because when you add people to the tree, you can actually add by their ID number, but only if they're deceased. So I hope that's a good expla explanation so you understand that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now my, um, my dad, I'm gonna go ahead and add my father, Wallace Lewis Cher. So he is deceased. So I'm going to click on deceased. Oh, let me first show you if I click on living right here on the right hand side and you scroll up a little and it says I will put in the date of birth and the place of birth. And this will also explain again, family search cares about privacy, living relatives you add are only visible to yourself, but you do have to put them as living. So once you add them, they'll just be living and you can keep adding more. Let's go ahead and put that my father is deceased and he died the 7th of... January, whoops, I didn't, didn't put that in right, right? I was making, let's go down to his date of birth. So 7th of January, um, 1923. Okay, hopefully that's right. What's really nice too is once you add this, you can actually click on this right here and you can even if you if you add it wrong I'll add the death date wrong and I'll show you how that'll pop up too but you click on that what that does is standardize it so just a little tip because they also um, and I'm gonna say ancestry but we're not talking about ancestry um, family search also likes things to be um, standardized and so sometimes you'll have problems going forward with that so so you can always, when you're adding things, just click on that. So I was just going to add, so if I just put like June, I'm not going to spell out June. Let me show you what happens. So it'll come up with this drop down because um, Family Search likes it to be the 15th of June, the complete date. So you'll want to click on that. I don't know if that showed up. Some Sometimes my computer doesn't like working with my phone <laughs> so and he died in american fork okay do you see this drop down though now yeah and so then i'm just going to click on american fork utah all right and then what i'm going to do is click continue up here in the right and what happens is that this will go out and it'll search on family search since he's deceased it's going to search and see if he if it can find a match and so if it doesn't, you'll just add that person, but I know that he's in here or else like I said, that you could say no match. If There may be several possibilities that'll come up and you'll just put no, none of these are it. But I'm gonna go ahead and add the match. And then this comes up because I can go ahead right here, see my, my mom and my dad. I can add just my, my dad, but since both of mine are deceased, I can go ahead and add the couple and then you'll see what happens. Okay, so then look, as soon as I add these, then I've got my whole tree fills in. And I knew that was going to happen. But but th that's what will happen for you once you add your living and you get to a deceased, and that's what will happen. It will pop up. 
for anybody that has worked on the tree you know previously too so anyway um i hope that's helpful and if you have questions let me know have a great day